trying to scooch this up a little bit. Okay. okay there we yeah, go. So Can you see me okay? Can you hear me okay? Hi. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> oh, see here it shows me your real name. That's nice. I already knew who you were though. But um, if you hear, can you let me know real quick if you can hear me okay. I can see your comments. It looks like popping up here. I'm not used to the YouTube live setup quite yet, yeah. but um, I wanted to, hi, I wanted to uh, try it out because of uh, the constraints on Instagram and especially the last time I did like a live, um, it kept cutting out and it was really annoying. So hopefully this will be better. Um, I'm just out here in my living space with my family and stuff. So if you hear background noise, like Junie's playing video games with daddy and uh, stuff. So there's stuff going on, but. Anyways, I wanted to pop on and show you, oh, sorry, I just got like eyelash in my eyeball, um, some awesome mail that I've gotten in the past like week to week and a half. Um, and I'm sorry if it looks like I'm looking off. I'm like trying to keep an eye on comments over here too. So I'm, it's hard to just look at the camera. So I'm sure it looks kind of funny that I'm like staring over here, but um Let's get started though, because I have several things to get through and um, I don't want to be on here too, too long. So first of all, I have an unboxing from Paradise Fibers, Fiber of the Month Club. Um, I also have some beautiful yarn in this bag here from Dandelions and Daisies. And I have another bag of yarn from Mythica Fibers, and then I have a project bag that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to start with the project bag because it's right here and it's already unwrapped, um, and I'm already using it actually. So this is the bag. It has these adorable origami kitties on it. It's like yellow and then mostly gray, black, and white, which are like some of my favorite colors in patterns and fabrics and things. So... Got this cute kitties. Um, this is from Fate's Thread. Um, so here's her Fate's Thread. Um, and I specifically requested the contrasting fabric inside of here. So if you recognize what this fabric is, shout it out. Um, but it's, it's sort of iconic if you know it. So you see the inside here? Anyone know what this fabric is sort of mirrored after? Um, I'll give you a second to guess. But um, I also had her make me a little notions pouch to go in it. Yes, it's clueless. Good job. <laughs> so this is like Cher's like yellow plaid suit with the little skirt that she wears. Um, you got it. <laughs> but so I had her make me a little um, matching uh, notions pouch and I asked her to make it longer normally she does like a smaller square pouch um, but I wanted it big enough to be able to fit my phone or like sunglasses into so it's just a little bit longer um, but it actually works really well also um, all of her bags are like really heavy interfacing so they're nice and sturdy um, but it also works really well as a divider I noticed because I'm using a two I'm working on a two color project right now. So if I slip this in here sideways, and then if you see, it kind of is like a little divider in here. So I can put one skein on one side and one on the other. And it's like perfect for the project that I'm working on. I'll show you with the yarn in. And like so. So it keeps them separated and I'm just pulling the yarn this way so it works like as a nice yarn bowl keeps everything intact especially with um curious kitties climbing around my projects at all times um a little sneak peek at something to come <laughs> can't tell you too much yet about this project though so that is my first one isn't this just like the perfect contrasting fabric for this though. Like we, I saw this, she has this cat fabric in a different colorway. I think it's like mostly blue based colorway. And um, 
and I was like, oh, I love the cats. And she's like, oh, I also have it in yellow, which is like one of my favorite colors. Um, and then I asked her what fabric we would put or she would put on the inside or if she had a an option to do it with. And uh, it's I know I love it so much. Um, and it just like these colors just were like screaming at me to find this clueless yellow plaid, which I've. I've seen kind of popping up lately anyways. I saw there's like a few things at Target right now that like a sweater and some other things that are in that like same because they're all very like 90s uh, style right now. Like pop popular uh, fashion is very 90s influenced at the moment. I'm going to sneak this down a little bit. I feel like it's a little high. Okay. So there's that. That's number one. Um, and number two, you're here. This is my dandelions and daisies. Um, so this is from Cherish. Uh, she is a yarn, independent yarn dyer. And I was just really admiring her colorways. I can't remember if you approached me or if I approached you, but either way, we hooked it up. And I'm going to be designing some with her. Look at how pretty her label is. So cute. So um, I'm going to be designing something with her beautiful yarn and I am so excited to show you. I was like goosebumps when I opened this. These colors are so gorgeous. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay, which one should I start with? I'm going to start with sugar cookie because I think this is kind of the color that started it all between like choosing what was going to be the the um colorways that we worked with so sugar cookie this is on her sassafras sock it's a two ply super wide merino nylon fingering weight 100 grams 463 yards you know all the all the the good stuff there but then this color it's like a faded version of my hair which by the time I finish this project could very well be the color that is on my head oh, it's so cute but wait it gets even better when you pair it with the other colors so then along with sugar cookie we have tutti frutti it's so cute I don't know if the light is it's showing it really well, but it's like a peachy pink with some teal and purple, hot pink, and sort of golden speckles. Oh, so cute. So some of these speckles in here are like paired in this as well. So they go really well together. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's one more. Um... And this, I don't know if we talked about this when I when we were choosing colors. I think this was kind of a surprise for me because I was like blown away when I saw this. This one right here. This is called Saltwater Taffy. So if you put them all together, is that not the most gorgeous trio? It's just so perfect. Like these are my colors. So happy and girly and adorable oh, I love it. dandelions and daisies if you don't already follow cherish you should go follow her now because she's really really talented oh i didn't even mention this one is uh her firefly stellina base so it's actually got some shimmer some stellina in it i don't know if it's really picking up on here So cute. So yeah, like this is my perfect color palette for me too. Like it goes with my skin tone and hair and aesthetic so perfectly. I love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much, Cherish. I cannot wait to start using these. Um, I was sketching out, oh, I just spotted this right in here too. There's like this chartreuse little Oh, it's so cute. Um, I was sketching out some 
shawl shapes, some interesting shawl shapes that it might become. I think that's what I want it to be because I want to be able to just like wrap up with it and wear it, you know, any season, like over a summer dress, I think it would be really cute as a shawl um, and even as a scarf like now in the winter time. So I wanted something that could be just a fun accessory and go with everything. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to grow up to be a shawl, baby. And possibly like a sort of uh, unique or um, the shape, the shaping of it anyways, I think I'll do sort of something a little you haven't seen before. And then the other yarn I got, so moving right along, is from Mythica Fibers. And let me just get into this real quick, sorry for the crinkling. This is from Aya of Mythica Fibers. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it 100% correctly, Aya or Aya. Um, beautiful label here, by the way, too. I love her crescent moon with like these little drips of jewels coming down from it. Gorgeous aesthetic. Her whole page is really beautiful as well. Um, so this is going to also be an upcoming design. She also included some tea. This shipped from Japan. So that's really exciting too, to get to use some independently dyed yarn from another country as well. So I've got some Japanese tea in here and this sweet little origami crane, which actually I didn't even realize, but Kind of goes with the origami theme of the week, right? <laughs> um, so cute. Ooh, here this way. I'm not sure if she handmade this or has them made, but so cute. I love that. Um, so getting into the yarn, we have talked about. I wanted to design a hat with one of her colorways. Um, I've been really wanting to do more hat patterns recently and so I wanted something that was um, a DK weight so that's what we landed on this is a let me just show you the yarn already <laughs> this gorgeous purple with like these deep red speckles throughout it's just so pretty and so plump and soft um, it's called the other side of love so this is her merino DK base it's a superwash fine merino 100% um, yes isn't it gorgeous it's so soft and fluffy and wonderful and uh, yeah it's gonna become a hat so hopefully this is one of those projects that I think I'll be able to sort of uh, whip up pretty quickly and get published hopefully just as quickly so mythica fibers and she actually included two skeins, depending on how the design goes or um, if I have, if I need to have it like re-knit or test knit, or the second skein might become a giveaway. So I've got two of those, the other side of love. Definitely give her a look on Instagram and a follow. Um, like I said, beautiful colorways as well. And you know what's so interesting? Well, let me show you the third. She threw in another, <laughs> a bonus skein I didn't know was coming. Um, this is called Over the Clouds, and this is on her sock base. So I'm not sure what this will become yet. It may get included like in a shawl pattern with another color or another um, dyer, but um, it's so pretty. So this is Over the Clouds. It's um, her sock base, 437 yards, superwash merino and nylon. And it is such a perfect sky blue. It's kind of reading more teal on my camera right now, but it's really more of a sky blue with purple speckles. And I, when I was looking through her colorways, I was really drawn to like all of her cool toned um, bases, the purples, the blues. Um, sort of in that family so definitely check her out um, and thank you so much to Aya for this um, 
beautiful collection of yarn. I cannot wait to get a hat on the needles with this. And I think this is going to go into the yarn cabinet with my other yarns and and it will play with the others and, and we'll see who it becomes friends with. Because <laughs> that's how it usually goes. I let the yarn kind of mix and mingle and then we decide. But oh, what I was gonna say is, like these two dyers, so different in style and yet like so stunning. And that's just something I really love about the indie dye community is like the variety of styles you can get and still have such beautiful, beautiful outcomes. I mean, look at these are just stunning together, but it's like they're completely different styles. The colors still somehow are all my colors though. <laughs> I love it. All right, that's all for yarn that I wanted to show you. Thank you so much again to the wonderful Cherish and Aya for sending me those yarns. Um, lastly here, I wanted to do an unboxing of the Fiber of the Month Club from Paradise Fibers. Um, I've done several of these unboxing videos with them and uh, I thought it might be fun to just do a live, live unboxing this time. So I haven't even cut the tape yet. I'm gonna open it up and see what's inside. So it's a total surprise for me and maybe for you as well, unless you happen to be part of the club and already opened yours. Um, so this is for spinning, um, or I guess you can use their fiber for anything, like anything you would use fiber for, weaving, um, tapestries, things like that. But for me, I've been trying to explore more spinning just as a sort of like relaxing side project. Um, it's kind of a nice thing to have when knitting becomes your job to have something that's sort of a hobby instead. So that's kind of been spinning for me lately. Um, spinning and makeup and hair are <laughs> my, my hobbies now instead of knitting. Knitting is my life. So get this open. Ooh, what am I feeling here okay oh okay so they they sometimes include like fragrance that goes along with whatever the box is so I am curious to know this is a stick of incense so maybe that's a hint as to what's inside here but it smells really good like very fresh like rain it smells like like rain on pavement it smells really good so this is what we're looking at here. There's a stick of incense taped on the inside. So that's the first sort of reaction. And then the paper here is gold with like some like pretty texture on it. I don't know if you can see that. But, so let's get into it. Ooh, <laughs> so pretty. They always do such a beautiful job packaging these. Okay, let's see. We've got one, two, three, and four bags, little pouches in here. I'm gonna set those aside for a second and find. So it came. They always do like some sort of fun confetti or something to package it in. So it's like a little birthday present or a surprise every every month. And then there is a newsletter that we will look at here in a moment. And I think that's everything in the box. So unless I'm missing something, but I think that's everything. It looks like this time they packaged it all in the little bags. So. We've got in your box. This is the newsletter. It looks like it's maybe if an Egypt theme, like ancient Egypt theme, maybe. Um, yes, ancient Egypt. So, um, in the box it says there's four ounces of natural, 
undyed sock blend in a white muslin bag. So that's this here. This is going to be Tarhi, Tarhi, I don't know how you say that, Targi, Tarhi, wool top, viscose bamboo, and tussa silk. Um, 80, 10, 10. So 80% of the Tarhi wool, 10% of the bamboo, and 10% of the tussa silk. So let's open that up real quick. That's the first thing. Um, nice little drawstring bag to hold it in. Ooh. See it? It's so soft. Oh my gosh. These fibers are insane. It's as big as my head. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like a cloud. Can you guys hear my kid giggling in the background? So soft. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the first thing. Secondly, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this back in this bag. Look at how big it is. I don't know how they got it all in there. This is four ounces. It always surprises me how much that really is. Like it looks huge. So fluffy. It's so fluffy. Back in there so the kitties don't try to take off with it. And then we have two ounces total of dyed viscose bamboo top in a satin bag of a corresponding color. Oh, so you could have gotten different colors. So it looks like I got <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Purple is heliotrope. So this is dyed viscose bamboo. Let's open this one up. This is heliotrope, which is going to be a purple. Ooh, that is so shiny and beautiful. So this is the first color I got, the purple. This is a really interesting texture to it. Like, it's smooth and silky. I really like bamboo. Have you ever knit with bamboo? Like, or like a fiber that has bamboo content? It's so nice. It's kind of like a middle ground between cotton and silk. So I really enjoy it. And then I've got it in green also, which green is going to be spring green. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, oh, I love that color. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, you could have gotten Aegean blue, Egyptian red, heliotrope, which is the purple I got, espresso brown, malachite teal, spring green which is one i got and topaz orange or black so you can actually get any of those colors it looks like on their website if any of those speak to you in the bamboo i love that i'm excited to see how that spins up i've never tried bamboo before and then i've got a few more things in here to go along with the egyptian theme so let me just open this up real quick they always do like a sticker with their little sheep to correspond with. Um, oh. <laughs> it's a mummy sheep. <laughs> that was really cute. And then this one is a magnet. So this is the sticker and this is a magnet. Um, what does it say? Uh, <laughs> So this is Nefertiti U, like Nefertiti, but Nefertiti U, like a sheep, and um, a mummy instead of a mummy. I'm really bad at pronouncing their like punny names <laughs> that they give these, but they're super cute. This is going straight onto my refrigerator. Um, what else? There is more. Okay. Oh, so the incense stick that was taped to the top is actually frankincense and myrrh. That's what I was smelling. It smells really good. 
Um, there's some tea here. This is Egyptian chamomile. So that is pure Egyptian chamomile flowers. Sounds delicious. I will try that later. And then, ooh, pretty. What is this? Two handmade Egyptian gemstone stitch markers, amethyst and jasper. <gasps> so pretty. Hold on. So here's how it comes packaged. Can you see it? And then let me pull these out so you can see them better. These were handmade. One amethyst and one jasper. Oh, they're so pretty. Aww. Sorry, it doesn't really want to focus on them, but you get the point. They're little gemstones on hanging stitch markers. This I'm assuming is the amethyst. It's purple. Um, it's not really picking up on here. With the light shining through it, in my direction, it's very bright, vibrant purple. And then this is like more of a teal with the texture throughout it. Well, thank you so much, Paradise Fibers. I think that's everything. Um, there's more information in here as well um, for project ideas and then more info on what you could do with them, more about the fiber content and all of that, which is really cool. They always give a... Um, a lot of extra details and things like that in the newsletter, which I'm not going to cover now because we're about to wrap up here. I wanted to keep this at about 30 minutes and that's right where we are. So, um, thank you so much for joining me. If you were able to stick around, um, if not, this will stay up on my YouTube channel as opposed to the 24 hour time limit on Instagram. So, um, if you liked this version of a live versus the Instagram, please let me know. Um, comment on here or leave me a message on my Instagram um, and let me know if you preferred this live or if you prefer the Instagram live better. Because um, I definitely want to be able to keep doing these. I think um, it works a little better with my life to be able to just pop on and do a quick live and not have to worry about editing and uploading and all of that. Um, obviously, I'll still do the edited videos as well, but for things like this where I just wanna hop on and chat with you guys, let me know if you like this. Um, and I will learn more about some of these features. Um, oh, there's like, you can put a filter on. <laughs> um, I think I can talk to you as well. Oh no, I can just look at your chat. What else? I don't know if I can have people join me on here or not, um, but oh, that's a fun filter. <laughs> I don't really, whatever, go back to normal. Um, all right, so with that being said, uh, don't forget to Subscribe, leave me a comment if you enjoyed this format, and I will see you guys later.